Welcome to the Afternoon Update, I'm Ellie Petrusevich. Australia has extended the travel pause with New Zealand after two more people tested positive to the South African strain of coronavirus at an Auckland hotel. Restrictions will remain for another 72 hours. Acting Chief Medical Officer Michael Kidd says they're also extending alerts for those who've already arrived in Australia from New Zealand. Anyone who has arrived in Australia on a flight from New Zealand on or since January the 9th is asked to isolate and arrange to get a test and remain in isolation until they've received a negative test result. Back home, Federal Labor has a new look front bench. Climate change spokesman Mark Butler has swapped with Chris Bowen, taking on health, while Brendan O'Connor will move into defence. More states are set to reopen completely to Sydney. People will be free to travel to Queensland from Monday and will no longer have to quarantine in South Australia from Sunday. An announcement is also expected from Victoria tomorrow. Former school principal Malka Leifer has fronted court via video link on 74 child sex abuse charges. She arrived in Melbourne overnight after fleeing to Israel 13 years ago. The case has been adjourned until April 9. And two candlelit vigils have been held overnight for a pregnant woman and her partner killed while walking their dogs in Queensland on Tuesday. A 17-year-old boy has been charged with their murder after allegedly running a red light in a stolen car and striking them. In sport, Cricket Australia is yet to sign off on biosecurity rules for the Test Tour of South Africa in March. There are concerns about a more contagious strain of the virus in South Africa where there are more than 6,000 new cases every day and AFL and AFLW players will now be sidelined for at least 12 days if they suffer a concussion. They were previously required to spend at least six days out of action. To entertainment news now, Bridgerton has officially smashed Netflix viewership records to become the streaming service's biggest series ever. Season one was watched by a record 82 million households around the globe. Fifty Shades of Grey star Jamie Dornan is heading to South Australia to film a new series called The Tourist. It'll be the state's biggest ever TV production to start shooting early this year. Anne Halsey has announced she's pregnant, the 26-year-old posting a picture with her baby bump on Instagram this morning with the caption, surprise. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. 